so um, I saw a video it was put out by a manufacturer of the cellulose type insulation where the guy was torching it and it never burned and that got me curious and I've been able to um, accumulate a few different types of insulation we've got uh, fiberglass and we have rock wool and we have foamit green and we have some Prodex which is just like a radiant barrier type insulation so we're gonna torch them see what happens I got the paper behind it we'll see if it gets hot behind it this is just kind of a entertainment purposes only uh, take what you will away from it so no further ado let's see what happens first up is fiberglass insulation Hang on, hang on. Woo. Okay, so the fiberglass insulation is already melting hardly any time at all. doesn't really ignite it does melt it seems to melt I'm gonna put the temperature gauge on it it's at about 100 degrees right now and 200 500 it starts melting at about 500 degrees so we're gonna see if the paper is flammable on the other side look at that the paper's got tar in it and it lights up right away I'm going to have to break my paper away from the rest of it because we have a fire on our hands so due to the paper backing of the fiberglass I'm going to give that a high flammability rating not cool fiberglass itself just melts but the backing flammable next up is the rock wool let's see we are starting at seventy degrees Temperatures going up 100, 200, 300. Got a brown spot, almost 400 degrees. Oh, not heating up near as fast, that's for sure. It's like dissipating the heat. It won't go over 500 degrees. I think it right on the flame. Oh, there we go. Starting. There we go. We're at 700 degrees and it's maxed out at that one spot. It took much longer to get to 700 degrees than the fiberglass did. And. Not making near the hole. Taking a very long time. Hasn't even really lost its density. I'm going to say this is fairly impervious to heat. Over 
over 700 degrees in that one spot. Yeah, not much happening to that. Okay, I'm gonna say that is fairly inflammable. Now we're gonna go to Foment Green. Starting at 70 degrees. It ignites with the flame on it. But goes out immediately and the flame is off. I'm going to say that is In the medium zone of flammable. Just see what a natural heat does to it with the paper burning. I'm going to say. You don't get much fire rating out of the foam. It is somewhat flammable. Okay, now for the last test, I'm going to heat up this Prodex. See what happens. We're at about 50 degrees, so it has lost all its heat from the indoors. It's heating up. Uh, very slowly. It's actually reflecting most of that. Oh. That's some serious heat on it. My guess is the foam underneath has melted. Let's see what the let's see what the paper is doing underneath. The paper is not catching on fire. It's not even heating up. Foil's finally starting to catch. The just heat off of that is burning that, but underneath, yeah, it's getting a little hot underneath. Since the paper underneath has not caught fire yet. I'm going to say that is pretty flame retardant. It's not as good as the rock wool, but extreme heat applied to it. The paper underneath still not catching. The foam in between the foil layers is gone. The paper is finally catching due to the direct heat. And there the foil is actually on fire. That's strange. All that direct heat and it wouldn't catch, but there on the edge it's burning. I wonder if it's just some of the foam petroleum left over. Alright, there's our four tests. There you go, for what it's worth. Thanks for watching, hope you found it a little interesting. If you did, please click like and uh, head on over to check out the channel.
Appreciate it.